What's up guys, and in this video, yes, you saw the title and the thumbnail, right? we are playing a Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and we're going to do two maps, and we're going to do the starter room challenge on two different maps. So we're going to do Bus Depot, and we're going to be doing Farm. And guess what guys, I got the new monitor today, so that's fun, even though I literally said I'd get it next week, and oh my god, the this, it just looks awesome now, like, the... The loading speed is just so much better. The frames per second is so much better. Oh my god. <laughs> but anyways, I hope everyone enjoys the video. If you do, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Because uh, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And if you comment on one of my videos, you get a shout out in my videos. Just like, uh, shout out to uh, Spuddy Uwu. Because he's always commenting on every single video. And it's just awesome. To see comments, I always read them, and uh, also place down your uh, round prediction in the comment section down below as well. My round prediction would probably be round seven because this map is kind of dog shit. Uh, but good thing we have the M14 and the Olympia on that wall. We we'll use we'll use the Olympia uh, for the farm starter room challenge only. It's just to switch it up, you know. I'll use the M14 because this map is a little bit harder than the farm map. Because farm is more open than bus depot. Now, if this thing wasn't in the middle, it would be pretty simple to train the zombies. But, you know, we don't get to get what we want, do we? Let me just take a screenshot of that real quick. Uh, and also, I think the video today will probably be late as well, maybe. It depends on how long the video, on and how long we, we survive and all the rest of it. And I hope you guys have been, been enjoying the um, Apex content, because... Uh, last night, right, I was streaming um, Apex Legends, and I, so when I stopped my stream, my friend a uh, Exotic started streaming um, Apex. If you like Apex content, Exotic is pretty funny. Um, he's funnier than me. I know, right? Who who's funnier than AT Sweaty? Basically everyone, because my jokes are horrible. I don't even make jokes. Like I made a really bad joke the other day. I I completely I had. I had it in my brain, but I just couldn't say it. What the hell was that? The frickity frack, bro? Sounds like a nuke going off. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, if you rebuild barriers enough, like, the barriers start to become, like, steel or something like that. Or is that only on transit? I have absolutely no idea, but we'll find out, okay? I do hope everyone enjoys the video. Um, I know I've said that probably numerous of times, but I honestly cannot wait for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 to come out because I'm going to be milking that for what it's all worth, guys. You have no idea on what I have planned for BO6. Like, oh, there's still so many other videos that I can do for Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. Like, there's still... I can still do, like, pack-punching every single weapon on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I still haven't pack-punched every single Black Ops 2 gun. I think for my next, um, video, I'll probably do a pack-a-punch video of pack-a-punching every single gun on Nuketown, but I don't think I should do it on Nuketown, because Nuketown's actually quite hard, because you never know on when you're going to get pack-a-punch. It could be round 20, it could be round 30, it could even be, like, round 4, because getting, like, perks and pack-a-punch on Nuketown is just based off luck, really. I'm currently drinking an energy drink, it's actually pretty freaking good. I feel like you can't, you can never fuck up a berry flavor. Like, if you make like a drink, you cannot screw up berry, okay? Berry is just dope. Same with strawberry and all the rest of it. Just dope flavors all around. Now. And you fail. What's up, guys? Welcome to. I'm joking. <laughs> you thought I was gonna restart, did you? I'm not that type of YouTuber to just like have one bad run and then just completely just re just scrap the video. Actually, no, I, I take that back. I've literally scrapped uh, the um, what was it again? Um, the Rise and Drag Easter egg video because I just can't do it. <laughs> My brain capacity, even though it's not that I can't do it, it's just I don't have enough time basically because I do videos every single day like and it takes me at least two hours to edit a video i like, to make sure there's no like long gaps of me not talking and all the rest of it it's just a whole bloody process that's why it seems that's why the videos are a little bit choppy because like i'm cutting to like when i'm actually talking so it's a little bit interesting 
No, seriously, guys. You, you guys want to like see me run around for 10 minutes try to find something that was like right next to me the, the whole entire bloody time. Uh, but anyways, uh, enough of that. Let's go back to the drink topic. I know I've talked about drinks so goddamn much, but uh, I don't think you guys knew this about me, but I used to smoke. I quit last year, thank the Lord. I smoked from year 7 to year 12, and I quit last year, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy that I didn't have a, a like addictive personality, so it was pretty easy for me to quit. Well, it wasn't that easy. Like I was constantly pissed off for like two months straight, but you know, we don't talk about that. I took my anger out on the pu on punching bag, so it's fine. No one got hurt in the process. I'm not a violent person. That's also another reason why I quit smoking is because I I got sick of always being angry all the time. Well, it's just, it's not me, and now that I've been clean for like eight months, which is wild, I feel happy, and I haven't drank a single alcohol can ever since last, like, the start of this year. I've just been fully clean. I have been drinking a lot of energy drinks though, which I need to stop, so I can like, because heart problems run in the family, which is freaking gosh dang horrible. Uh, the goal is to make it past round four uh, on this uh, Chetris map uh, because round four on a starter room challenge is just not good. My goal is at least round ten. I will not be happy at least I, unless I get round ten, ten. Okay, that is my goal right right in the moment. Gotcha, bitch. All right, so that didn't happen. Uh, if it sounds like I have something in my mouth, it's because I do. I have literally caramel lollies in my mouth. I'm literally munching at the moment. Oh, let's give the uh, Olympia uh, a chance this get um, this game. Let's see if the Olympia can do any better than the M14. Because last game was bullshit. I loaded like three boards into that zombie, and he did die on round three, mind you. Hey, or oh, oh, round four. I forgot what round it was, but the zombie should have died. Okay, that's all it is. What is everyone's favorite lolly? That, that's actually another good question to ask. Like, my, if I, if someone were to ask me like randomly what my favorite lolly is, I wouldn't be able to answer it because I generally don't know. Man, I used to have mad cravings for like banana lollies, like with like chocolate in the middle. Oh my god, that shit bussin' bussin'. Like my mouth, it, 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 it just every single time I had those banana lollies, it was like some guy. I'm, I'm trying to become more censored, but it's not working um, at all. Uh, and how do you guys like the um, the new bleeping uh, in the videos? Like, instead of like a dolphin noise, I add bleeping, like an actual bleeping. It's like a flash of uh, colors. Now I know with the flash of colors, I should add like a warning at the start of the video of uh, flashing lights, because. I really don't want uh, someone with epilepsy to have a seizure in, whilst watching my video. I want my videos to be like all around friendly and like all the rest of it. So I might stop doing it. Maybe I don't know. But what do you guys think? I feel like the dolphin sound effects were a little bit funner. Like I loved, like the dolphin effects. They're a little bit harder to bleep out like swear words because. You have to like turn down the audio, up the dolphin effect, and it's just a whole whole freaking thing, really. Uh, we're on round three at the moment. We're doing pretty good. Our goal is round ten, like last game or last two games. We're gonna grab the M14, use the M14 a little bit this round, cause why not? I uh, look, it's time to subscribe. Okay, yeah, no, I, I need to retire. I need to retire. Oh my god, oh, I can't believe it just said that. Oh god, I, look, guys, it's just just subscribe to shut me up. That, that's why, that's, I mean, I will never shut up, but, <laughs> uh, you can't, you can't shut me up by subscribing, but like, maybe I enjoy my content by subscribing, oh my freaking god, Jesus Christ, oh Jesus Christ, it's already starting to get headache on round four, this is ridiculous. You know, this would be a little bit easier if Double Tap was in here, or like, uh, Quick Revive. Ah, uh, round five, let's go. Yet again, our goal is round six. I know it's, this video is going to be a long video, that's for damn sure. I feel like the blipping effect, like with the colors, is a, is pretty funny. Like, if you like, if it's like, if it's like random, it's funny. But, yet again, we're, 
with the topic I brought up beforehand, I know we literally just talked about this. Uh, with epilepsy, right? Um, I think with epilepsy, uh, people have like, it's like two different triggers. There's flashing lights and there's also, oh, what was the other one? I completely forgot. Um, what would it be? What would it be? I have no idea. Did you guys know I'm a certified paramedic? Like, not, not, not a paramedic. I was certified first aider. I can do first aid on a person that has fallen down right in front of me and do, and perform CPR, which is pretty dope. You know, it'd be great one day if I'm able to, like, sign, like, a fan's t-shirt. That'd be awesome. I, I think that's, like, my top goal. Uh, is to get so like get popular to the point where I can like like sign things for people like if if someone were to ask me like for a signature like on something I would sign it I don't care I wouldn't say no like I would be so friendly I'm I'm really friendly in IRL okay I may look mean but I'm actually pretty friendly um, I always have like a like my eyebrows are really thick like I'm talking thick with like three C's. Like, I look pissed off all the time. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm generally, um... Man, I am depressed half the time. But actually, let's talk about something depressing, because I don't usually talk about depressing stuff. I... Uh, do I? I have no idea, but... Um... Did you guys know that I got bullied throughout kindergarten, high... Primary school, and high school? I got bullied for, like every single like school that I went to which is insane uh, I'm not gonna say the reason because it's the reason why I would never do a face reveal because I know people uh, will completely oh my god okay this is really bad oh my how the frick did I survive that is round 10, 10 even possible on bus depot I wonder what the world record is for um, high rounding on um, the um, starter room on bus depot okay the zombies are starting to sprint now like jog like the light job. We gotta kill those zombies first because they'll become an issue. Now, headless walking zombies are the most deadly zombies because they just don't die. They have like two seconds and they can still hit you while they're headless, which is fucking stupid. You know, honestly, we might just only have to do the bus depot um, side of room challenge only as a video, maybe. I don't know, depends. Okay, we gotta be really careful here. It's just taken so goddamn long to kill all these zombies. You have no idea. I think once I hit a thousand subscribers and my videos are doing really well, I mean, they're still doing really well, um, I might add captions back into my videos. It's just that adding captions, when I add captions, I have to fix the captions because um, sometimes the captions don't pick up on what I'm actually saying and it, and it like registers like a completely different word. Like one time I said, ah, oh, what word was it? It was a word and then it popped up as the N-word in my captions and I was like, oh hell no. Uh, which was really bad. I'm so glad that I, I did a double check, like check, double check over. See, I always double check with like all my editing the rest of it to make sure that it's perfectly fine before I upload the video um, just to make sure that I don't get another copy uh, another strike on my channel because last year's strike is still inactive for some stuffed up reason I got a uh, YouTube strike on one of my Apex Legends videos uh, it was a stream a two hour lo long stream and me and my friends were talking about some really sensitive <laughs> subjects and saying that uh, we will we will kill people and all the rest of it, and someone uh, took a took at that as serious and um, reported it and all the rest of it. I got a strike for criminal activity, or f I I think it was or something. Oh yes, nuke nuke is actually really useful. What I learned that day is to not say. Uh, you're going to do something um, that involves a criminal activity. Oh yeah, another thing you guys don't know about me is that um, back in 2019, 2020, I nearly got a criminal record. Nearly. I, it was very close. I'm not going to say what I did because people probably... It'll probably come back to bite me in the future if I ever get famous or anything like that. Um, that's why... I feel like that's probably the reason why I don't really talk about my uh, my life as much is because I don't want it to come back to bite me in the ass in the future. 
Let's see on what round we make it to on farm. Farm is going to be a little bit easier because there's quick revive here. And there's double tap up there. And double tap is essential for surviving a high round. Now there's the Olympia right here. Now where's the M14? The M14 is my babe. I need my M14. Okay, well it turns out we're only going to be using the Olympia. Um, that sucks. I don't mind using the Olympia. Olympia is not too bad. I, just, I, I was sort of hoping not to use the Olympia uh, this run, but... We'll use it. Might as well. Yet again, our goal is round 10. And if we get to round 10, we're going to go back to Bus Depot and get to round 10 on that. Come on, zombie. You're taking way too long. Like, you're slower than my goddamn grandma. All right, do you get to, do you get more points if you... I know you don't get points if you're prone at the bleed perk machine. Uh, guys and gals, I think. Comment down below on what gender you are. Because I generally want to know on what my viewer base is. Now, I'm guessing that you guys... You people are mostly guys because there's not many female um, COD players out there. There's more guy gamers out there than female gamers out there. I feel like the reason for that is because guys hate being beaten by girls uh, because guys have massive freaking egos. Let's be honest here. Um, when they get beaten by girl, they accuse them of cheating. Of cheating. Hack, uh, hacking, whatever you want, they call them fat, fucking so say every word under the, underneath the sun, and we we'll, sorry if this is really sensitive, but most girls are more sensitive than guys, sorry if that offends people, I do apologise, but that's my observation that girls are more sensitive than guys, as my, my sister literally agreed to that when I, when I told her that, she's like, yeah, I'm, more, I'm, I'm definitely sensitive. I'm not saying all girls are sensitive. I'm saying more girls are sensitive than guys. I'm not saying that girls are the only ones that are sensitive. Yet again, I don't apologize if it pulls any strings. Enough of the apologetic stuff. Um, don't hate me. <laughs> oh, I'm, just, I'm having a blast right now. And if I talk about the same subject, I don't apologize. It's just that I don't remember everything I talk about. If it gets repetitive... I don't apologize. To skip ahead. Man, you guys, most of you, most of you people, freaking skip ahead. Anyways, I, I see you, Jared. I see you skipping through my videos, you little turd. I'm joking. Imagine though. Imagine that, like, there was actually a Jared just skipping through this video as I said that. Man would have been freaked the hell out. He, he would be like, what the frick? What? How the f do you know? <laughs> I was looking at my YouTube channel uh, last night, and I saw the click through rate, and oh my god, that is ridiculous. A lot of people click through my videos. Like they did click, they they watch the start, they click through like to the middle and then the end. A lot, which is ridiculous. I think it's like sixty percent of the viewers like click through the videos, which is insane. Does does that mean my videos aren't interesting? I I hope they're interesting. Well, otherwise, I might have to change my approach to my videos. And I don't want to do that. Okay, we we have enough for double tap, so let's go and grab double tap. After oh, we kill these two zombies, let's go. Yet again, if I talk about sensitive subjects and uh, they hurt you, I do apologize. Do not report. Do not like report me. Just just comment down below on like if it hurts you, and I won't talk about that area subject ever again. Okay, I really do not want another freaking strike. Now I could get rid of get rid of that whole conversation out of the video but i might keep it in just munching on bloody lollies at the moment oh my god round six absolute champions over here let me just snack on this lolly real quick if you guys and, and girls i know girls love perfume uh so can you like give me like a perfume rec recommendation because i want to try some like perfumes because I have perfume, but like my perfume is not that good and I w really wanted to buy a really good perfume So I smell nice when I go outside like I don't go outside on regular no way like everyone a youtuber that makes videos every single day Yeah, you, you would think they barely goes outside like all I do all my freaking weightlifting and working out in my freaking room <laughs> Not even joking like, I listen to some bad beats and just, like, just go to town, you know? A good motivation to work out is songs and, um, doubt. Like, self-doubt. Like, prove it, like, prove yourself wrong, basically. That's what you're doing. I know from experience, like, when you're re relatively big, um, you're like, 
why well, you, you just hate on how big you are because like people like are like judging you because of how big you are. There's nothing wrong with having a little bit of like meat on you. Like nothing wrong with that. I know a lot of people think there's a lot wrong with having like a, a little bit of meat, but it's I I prefer a lot of meat. Like I'm actually planning on um bulking up, like back up to like 80 to 90 kilos. Not going to uh. How the fuck did you one tap me? What the f Nah, fam. Nah. Nah. It's bullshit, bro. That hurt my hand. This is such bullshit, bro. That is our last. Oh my god. There's no way we got freaking. How the hell did that zombie singular hit me, bro? That is such bullshit. And then I proceed to go down again. Olympia is putting in work. Uh, we gotta be careful here. Oh my god, we just nearly got Dylan down again. Oh my god, that would have been really goddamn bad. Jesus Christ. I really... Damn, this is actually starting to get really hectic really goddamn quickly. We are getting to round 10. If you like it or not, zombies, I do not care. Uh, that's that round done. We're on round 8 now. You know what I should have done? I should have put on, like, Hellhound so we had an easy round. But no, I have to make things harder on myself. You know, I've never used the Olympia so much in a YouTube video before. Ah, uh, there is insta-kill over there, so we're gonna grab that. And we do have to be a little bit careful. What, what, why didn't I open that door? Oh, that's right, it's the starter room challenge. That's why I didn't open that door. Hey, at least I didn't cheat, okay? That's, F you zombies, bro, F you, man. F you, you're meant to be dying. I don't even care, oh my God. Round nine. Okay, we just have to survive one more round. That's it, and then we're done. With this, with this freaking starter room challenge, it's gonna really suck if we don't, if we don't get, get it, get it, like really goddamn suck. I hope the Olympia is a one shot. It isn't. It's a two tap on round nine. Okay, Man, it's not pack a punch, and it is a wall buy, so it's to be expected uh, for a wall buy to fall off really easily, like really quickly. Oh my god, that was a really bad idea. Uh, we need to wrap around. Okay, reload. Oh shit. Reload, please. It takes way too long to reload. We're being extremely careful right now. You have no idea. This is gonna take a little bit to finish this. Um, we gotta make sure we check our surroundings at all times. Uh, hold back up the zombies. All right, that's done. Oh my god, round ten, baby! All right, that's this map done. We have successfully gotten round ten on this map. Start of room challenge. All right, let's go. Back to Bus Depot. We have finally got to round 10 on Bus Depot Zombies. This took forever. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> this map is impossible. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.